In this video, I will be using my 30 to 40 million stub team, and we're going to see exactly just how good they are. So I'm recording this part after I did the gameplay part of this video, and I'm going to tell you guys, you do not want to miss this game that we play. It is one of the crazier games I have played the entire year. And if you guys enjoy, make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. So the team I created today are the big collection rewards and then some of the smaller collection rewards and then other players who are just very expensive. So here's the squad. So in right, we got the Elich, the Tops Now uh, collection reward, and then Mantle, the final collection, big collection reward. McCutcheon, Brett, and Rollins were uh, the other big collection rewards throughout the year. Jackie Robinson, the all-star game, coll big collection reward. And then Paul Goldschmidt, the 2022 finest collection reward for when you collect it's either all of the 2022 finest or most of them um and then joe mauer the cover athlete collection reward right there at catcher and then the bench we got trout super expensive guy a uh, million stubs there griffey and jimmy fox both very expensive and then obviously you see Corey seager also at one mil but yeah ken griffey and fox were like 500k or something like that so uh very expensive cards all around there uh, Otani in the rotation is the Takashi co final collection reward. And then Randy Johnson, at the time I got him, was a million stubs. And then DeGrom obviously has been very expensive, but has come down quite a bit in price from where he was. But when I got him, was very expensive. And then Edwin Diaz was one of the 2022 finest collection rewards. And then guys like Rivera are very expensive. Um, and Aroldis Chapman, I believe, was uh, one of the collection rewards. Uh, for one of the programs earlier in the year. But yeah, that's the team. So a lot of collection rewards and a lot of expensive guys. We'll see exactly how this team can do. Jumping into the first game, we got, so we got, we're playing a pretty good guy, 180, 180 and like 100. So this guy has Twitch in his name, so you know he's probably a streamer. And he's probably pretty decent at the game. He started it off with a big fly out there, though. To center field, Mantle uh, honestly kind of robbed them there. So we'll take that good start for us in the field. Jimmy Rollins up first for us. Hits one up the middle, leads off the game with a base hit right there. So we're looking for some early runs here. That would be ideal. I feel like I usually fall behind in these games. Another base hit there by Mantle. Um, I usually fall behind in these ranked games uh, to start off and then usually fight from behind. But this time, well, we're not starting off ahead, at least in the first inning. Paul Goldschmidt grounds out to first, and that is that. Uh, Yelich here uh, delivers a base hit to right. Okay, barely gets through, but we'll take it. A base hit. So we've got three singles so far. Looking for a bit more. Jackie gets a hold of this one. This one has a good chance. Back, back, and oh, he might rob it. No, it barely gets over just in time. And that is a two-run home run there from Jackie. 4 26. We're up 2-0. And as you see here, this guy quits out. Uh, it wasn't having it. 2-0. It was only 2-0, and he still quits. Uh, but going into this next game, as you see, our opponent, uh, yeah, he's played uh, over 1,500 ranked games. Um, yeah, so I don't know, and I'm not sure I've seen someone play more uh, ranked games than that. So he's going to be experienced, but uh, we'll see just how good he is. He's still at a winning record. Uh, he starts this one off there with a huge home run. To put himself up one nothing, looking to get out of this second inning, but he hits one hard again, and this one's gonna barely stay in the park. It's off the top of the wall, uh, 99 speed for Julio Rodriguez, but we do hold him to his to a double, so we'll take that. But looking to get this guy out right here, and we will. There we go. So we get out of the second inning, and we're still only down one, so reasonable reasonable deficit at the moment. George Brett lines this one hard into the gap, but it is gonna be run. Down, almost a perfect, perfect, but nonetheless, a hard line drive into the gap, and it's still caught. Doesn't matter. Paul Goldschmidt, uh, one down in the bottom of the second. Will This one will get down, and that is going to be a double for Goldschmidt. Not too much speed on him right there, but we'll take the double. Jackie Robinson, next guy up two. Well, not next guy up, two outs this time, and that is going to be the second inning. Can't get that guy home, unfortunately, but in the third inning, Jimmy Rollins, two outs. Hits this one the opposite way, bat flips on him, and that one is gone. Opposite field power from Jimmy Rollins right there, and we tie the game at one. This game kind of feels like one of those games that's just going to go back and forth. We seem pretty evenly matched, in my opinion, 
And, you know, as I mean, we can see already, one to one. Uh, we both had a couple home runs there, but Randy Johnson gets two guys on, walks one, hits one. We had to take him out, but it doesn't matter because this guy will lines one up the middle, and that is going to be enough for a run, and he's going to take the lead. So, like I said, back and forth we go, and two one. Look, he's looking for more. Okay, he's gonna. This could, this is going to be close. Seventy four speed on third. Yelich gets under it. Doesn't have a great arm. Uh, cuts it off, and Goldschmidt is going to get him in time. Mauer with the tag, and he's out. So huge double play to end that one, and we're only down two one. Mantle lines one the other way, and that is he's going to get the inning started for us in the fourth. Looking to tie this game. Paul Goldschmidt another hit. That is two for him on the day, and first and second, one out. Two outs now, Jackie Robinson up, and Jackie is going to ground out, unfortunately, and that is going to be the end of the fourth. So this guy, once again, kind of showing bunt, pulls back, and crushes this thing. Jimmy Fox is going to put him ahead, 3-1 to one right there, and yeah, he's hitting too many home runs. I'm letting up too many home runs this game, especially through four or five innings, and Dansby takes one the other way. Yelich, not a great arm, trying to cut that off. Uh, just going to be a double, though, for Dansby. But we're in trouble here. Uh, Duran is in trouble. And there we go. Bogarts, I believe that was once again, crushing us. And that might be out of... Nope. Going to be in there for an RBI double. And it's 4-1 to one in the fifth inning. Jimmy Rollins, though, takes... All right, draws a walk. Two down. Andrew McCutcheon looking... Okay, there we go. Based it up the middle. Two guys on, two outs. We need a run here. We need at least one run. Mantle looking for that run. Hits one. Okay, that's up the middle. 99 speed on second, so that should be enough to score him. I'm going to hold that second, and there we go. So 4-2, and still two guys on, but unfortunately not able to get anything there. And then this guy comes back and just another dagger right there. 5-2 to two and three-run lead, so he gets that run right back. McCutcheon here. Hits one to the left, barely gets through right there, but we'll take it nonetheless. And then Mantle comes in and delivers two-run home run to bring us within one run here in the seventh inning. That is exactly what we needed to stay alive. We're down three runs, so we were down, you know, getting late, down three runs. Uh, but now in the top of the eighth, Edwin Diaz on, looking to close the door. He does. So we're on to the bottom of the eighth. We still have a chance here. Down one run. Yelich up at the plate, and... This, okay, this guy requested a friendly quit up in the eighth inning. I, I don't think I've ever seen that. Anyways, back into it. Jackie Robinson, perfect, perfect to left field. That is a base hit. We'll take that. Joe Maurer looking. Is that going to put us ahead a home run? Possibly. Does it have enough? It is just going to come short, hit the wall, and that is going to be enough for Jackie Robinson with the 97 speed to score from first. And this game is somehow tied it felt like it was over in the seventh inning when we were down three runs. We're back right in this, looking to go ahead, though, and we're not. Corey Seager will ground out, and that will do the eighth inning. But we got a game here. Mariano Rivera in for me in the ninth. We get the strikeout on him. And at this point, I have this guy completely rattled. He's bunting with no guys on and one out in the ninth inning when you, you know, trying to win the game at this point. And he, Jimmy Fox, oh, I mean, he was that close to tying it up right there. That close to tying it up. Instead, he is going to fly out to Yelich, and it is our turn to try to walk this game off and somehow win this game. Jimmy, we got top of the order up. Jimmy up, and he's going to, all right, a little dribbler out to third, and that is going to be enough for a hit. Infield single, it might be meant to be. Uh, Andrew McCutcheon, base hit up the middle, and two guys on, nobody out. And we also have speed on the base paths right now, which is also huge. George Brett, one out, and he fools me. Two outs, Paul Goldschmidt, two-one count. Hits one to left. That is going to find a way to get down, and that should be enough to score him. And it will, and we walk the game off. I, I don't know how we won that game, but we walk it off. Paul Goldschmidt, an absolutely massive game right there for us, including that walk-off. And we win 6-5. to five. I feel like I'm becoming the master of these comebacks. I feel like we get down early every single game and then somehow just come back and find a way to win. As you see, though, this game, we had double the hits as him, 14-7, to and we just barely found a way to squeak out the dub. Um, and, yeah, here we go. Paul Goldschmidt, four hits, including the walk-off. Absolutely massive day for Goldie. And then, yeah, the pitching staff 
you know, first couple guys struggled, but then we closed things down. He did not score in the seventh, eighth, or ninth. So, you know, kind of shut the door at the end. So the 30 million sub team found a way to win. Maybe you would hope that the game would be easier when you have a team this loaded and this expensive. But nonetheless, we walked away with the dub. And if you guys have any ideas for future gameplay videos that you want me to do, go ahead and drop those down in the comments and I can get to some of those. And if you guys did enjoy, make sure you do hit that like button. It helps out quite a bit. And if you're new, subscribe to the channel. I hope you guys did enjoy this video, though. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.